In the back of the book segment tonight, the Hell's Angels. There was a brawl last weekend on Long Island between the pagan motorcycle gang and the Hell's Angels. One man was killed, killed 10 injured, 70 arrested. And in the current edition of Details magazine, there's an article that claims the Hell's Angels have become an organized crime group of the highest order. I recently spoke with the author of that article, Julian Rubenstein. So the Hell's Angels, um, you know, romantic uh, name, Hunter Thompson glorify these guys. What's the real story behind this outfit? Well, people don't realize that uh, over the last couple of decades, actually, in the 80s, in fact, the FBI reclassified them as organized crime groups. Uh, they've basically been involved in everything from uh, drugs to uh, money laundering, uh, prostitution, and a number of criminal activities, but they've been smart enough recently to, and savvy enough to understand that uh, they can spin, to use your word, their, yeah, their, their, yeah, their, their uh, image in the right way, and, and they've kept the violence low here in the States. Uh, but diff the difference is that in the mafia, it's pretty centralized, you know, but I don't think the Hells Angels are. They're just a number of different clubs all around. You're saying they're coordinated? Well, uh, law enforcement does believe they are. They will deny that because of the RICO laws that make it easier to prosecute them and more of them if they're able to prove that they is, there is a centralized basis for Do their you believe operations. It, uh, yes. So no. this is no rec club. This is no weekend guys out for a few beers. This no. is hard drugs, methamphetamine, that kind of thing? Uh, yes, d dealing it, uh, using it might be another question. But they, they deal in weight. They, they move a lot of this stuff, yes, right? Yes, And you're do. sure of that? Well, I mean, there, there, there's been, uh, you know, hundreds of, of, of lawsuits, even in this country, uh, against them for it. I mean, they, they also have deep pockets now. Uh, they've licensed and franchised. They're incorporated. And, and they fight a lot of the cases. A, a story I recently did, you know, really chronicles one of the most violent episodes in, in criminal history, in, which happened in Quebec, where 162 people have been killed over the last seven years. And, uh, and, and it's because of a, of a drug turf war between the Hells Angels and a rival gang. 162 people killed yes. in that drug war up in Quebec, Canada. Many from bombs that have gone off, uh, more than 80 of them around the province. Now, we had an incident here in New York where the pagan motorcycle gang attacked the Hells Angels party. What was that all about? What happened was basically that the pagans came into a Hells Angels function with 78 people in 10 vans armed with, among other things, knives, brass knuckles, and an Uzi, and uh, charged into a, an, an arena where there was a, a thousand or more people there. C clearly this was some kind of a statement, and, and what my sources say they believe it was is that there have been skirmishes recently between these two clubs, particularly in Philadelphia. Now, the Pagans are a much smaller group, but they're basically making a statement that they're not going to be pushed around. And in Philadelphia, and specific, specifically recently, as well as in Long Island, where they used to control the trade until a bust a couple of years ago, they held sway. And right, now, so they're a drug gang too. You're talking about a drug trade. Uh, well, according to officials, they do, uh, uh, you know, deal heavily in drugs. Yes. All right. Um, final question. These guys are known to, you know, go after people like you who write about them and say bad things about them. You worried about that? Uh, I've, it's crossed my mind. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it has. I mean, the, you know, as, as you may know, there was a, a very prominent investigative journalist in Canada, Michel Auger, who was shot at close range six times in the back uh, last year on the day uh, an expose of his uh, ran in Le Journal de Montreal. And, um, I mean, uh, you know, uh, friends of mine have asked me about it, and I, I don't really know, know what to say. Is anybody Look, I, arrested in that case? Uh, no, actually there wasn't. Um, you know, people uh, and sources in law enforcement, including Michelle Auger, the reporter, say he knows who did it, um, but they have not been able to have enough evidence to arrest those people. And there's been actually pr part of the reason that this war in Canada has gone on for so long has been precisely because they've been unable to land and deliver the, you know, come through with the allegations that, the, that they've had against these guys. So. You know, the, the fact is, yeah, you, can, you, you can't say, I guess, 100% that that, that that was them, but uh, there's been no denial. One footnote, the Hells Angels would not provide a spokesperson to us. Next, we'll wrap things up. The most ridiculous item of the day and some of your mail.